I'm Chanel from Breeze Coaching Academy and welcome to this video on what to do in your first 90 days in real estate. I get asked this question a lot and it's Chanel, what do I do? I've just started. Where do I start? What activities do I focus on? And how can I make my very first sale fast? So there's a number of suggestions that I can make to you today. And the first is when you get started in real estate, let absolutely everyone you know, know that you've changed careers. Let them know that you've moved into real estate, what company you've joined and how excited you are to help them in the marketplace. That means looking on your LinkedIn and updating your bio and profile there, looking at your social media connections and messaging everyone directly because a lot of people send out a newsletter or a, a letter out to people but in this day and age that can cost a lot of money just by sending a message to everyone that you know and letting them know make a post on your social media platforms and let them know you've changed careers also update your bio on your facebook page your instagram link it to your website if you've created a website the next thing i would do is find a coach or mentor or someone within your agency that can help you that can role play with you that can teach you the ropes that will give you the training that you need because often we get thrown in the deep end here's a photocopier we've got training once a week and you're on your own but often we need that that hand holding and someone to just chat to about things and get that ball rolling. Practice your listing presentation. Structure it in such a way that it's so easy and you just practice and practice and practice in front of a video camera, in front of your colleagues, before you go out to the marketplace and start doing your own listings. The next thing I would be doing is shadowing the top agent in your office or in your area. Now, when I first got started, it was one of the best things I could have done. I went along to their open homes, I went along to their listing presentations, I sat back and listened, and then I would write notes afterwards on what they're doing and how they're doing it, and just ask them questions about how to set up an open home, how to call buyers, how to do a listing presentation. Go along and absorb everything. Attend trainings, attend everything you can possibly do within your organization and exterior training as well. Whether it's coming along to one of my trainings, one of my live events, whether it's joining my online program or you're going along to another event, go along to as many events and trainings as you possibly can. Because the more you train, the more you learn, and invest in yourself and read books listen to podcasts do all of that juicy goodness the next thing I would be doing is asking your agency if you can work with any buyers and that means seeing if there's any open homes available that you can do open homes on behalf of another agent that's how I got started when I first got started, another agent said, hey look, I'm going away this weekend, can you look after my open homes? That gave me leads, buyers to work with and follow up on, and it gave me appraisals in the area. The next thing is private sales. Call any and all private sales that you can think of, because the more you get out there, the more business you're going to get. Go along to their open homes, introduce yourself see if you can help them. The next thing is calling to lets or rental properties. Believe it or not, this is so incredibly important and they are hot usually, unless they've just purchased, in which case it could be a referral to your property management, they, that property could be sitting vacant and they would actually think of selling. So go and see if you can appraise their property and see what comes out of it. The next recommendation is joining networking groups. I can't tell you how valuable this is. 
I love Venus Networking for Women, so if you're based in New Zealand and you're listening to this, join Venus, they're fantastic. Um, otherwise there's things like B&I or Soapbox in New Zealand. Um, there's a number of networking groups such as Chamber of Commerce. Go along, join, network and build your referral base that way. The next thing is get involved in your community. Get involved in the community events and see if you can host community events because your personal brand is your business. Get in front of as many people as you can. Go to as many auctions with your office as you can and understand how everything works. Create a listing presentation and role play and practice it with someone else in your office so you gain confidence. Well, I hope that's helped you today. I'm really excited to have shared that with you. If you've enjoyed this content, please subscribe below and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.